Jess and this is my call. And as you say, we're Khashoggi. Uh, we started uh, a duo, an alternative folk type duo uh, in September 2017. And uh, yeah, it's part of our journey so far. But in terms of how we met, it was 2014. I think. Something like that, yeah. I think. We'd both um, sort of come to the end of graduating. Um, we're both from the Midlands. We both auditioned for a band back in the Midlands and that's how we met. And um, suffice to say, after that, we then joined forces as a duo and became yeah. Khashoggi. We both really like Queen. Um, yeah. And there's a song called Khashoggi Ship on their Miracle album. And that was where we we've sat in a pie shop, in fact. Um, By King's Cross. And we sat in there for about three hours thinking of uh, names that we could call ourselves. And uh, out of all of them, that was the best one and no one else had it. So that's how we got the name. It, I think the first gig was Fiddler's Elbow in Camden. Camden, yeah. And uh, really awesome venue, actually, for live music. Um, and yeah, it was good fun. Good, a good debut, I would say. I find it's hard to define our music. Each like so many different bands and, and styles of music, and I think that all sort of comes together a bit in our in our stuff. So when people ask, like, who do you sound like and stuff like that, we struggle a little bit because it's yeah. so varied. Sometimes um, we, we get turned down for gigs because they'll say, you're not the traditional blues sound or folk sound. So it can actually be quite hard sometimes to get gigs in London for that reason because you think, oh, we don't really fit into a particular yeah once you know one genre but, especially um, yeah especially in our like sort of setup as well where it's just the the vocals and the acoustic guitar yeah and there's yeah. two of us i would say our inspiration comes from um other artists that we listen to there's a whole range of artists that we both really really like or there's artists that i like and i'll introduce them to him and vice versa and we do try and emulate their sounds and because we think oh wow that sounds amazing i wish we could do that because i think it can be quite hard creating your own style and as a singer it's very hard sometimes to have your own vocal style in particular so i think by having listening to other artists and getting inspiration going to gigs is i would say part and parcel of being a musician you have to go to gigs I, I even free gigs um they've really helped us shape our sound haven't they? like yeah yeah there's sure. a lot of our songs have come from well at least the, the music parts that i've written have come from like hearing something like a particular chord change or something like that in a song that i really liked and i'm like well how did he do that try and do it myself and then it'll be like a tiny thing but then a whole song uh, can come out of it sometimes <gasps> Did you slowly start? Yeah. Mm. Hang on. Uh, I'm just going through the voice um, So, yeah, the album uh, is due out this year for definite. <laughs> we recorded it in the summer uh, last year and um, we're just getting the mixes back through now. The guy that recorded us, we had three days in the studio and we were literally, at one of the sessions, he actually said, I can't do this anymore. Sweat is going into my eyes. I can't actually see. So we had to like cut the session short. And also there was the, the risk of us getting dehydrated. I was downing so much water and it was just, it wasn't really it was making hard. a difference. I just remember having the most banging up banging headache after but it was totally worth it another thing was me uh playing bass for the first time oh yeah which was yeah. quite uh it was basically like oh, we will need to do the bass today um so i picked up a bass and sat there while jess was running through some extra vocal lines like figuring out bass lines for some of our songs and yeah. stuff like that and we had to go, oh my God, it was the first time I'd used a synth properly. So we, because um, a lot of the, the songs that we've developed have 
kind of gone into like a full band sound as opposed to just acoustic guitar and vocals. Um, I think down the line, it's something we want to experiment with having like yeah. a full band sort of sound because uh, I think some of the tracks need it. But yeah, it, it was great. It was really, really good fun experimenting. And yeah, that's really exciting. But we haven't got an album name yet. We are working yeah, on that. Untitled. We played in Italy last year. That was quite cool for us, I think. Like within a year of, of being together and then managing to play abroad and mm. at these two festivals in Italy. We were really, really like proud of that. And I think that was sort of quite a good experience. It's obviously a, like a beautiful part of the country as well. It was incredible scenery, but then also traveling between all the places with guitars and stuff and playing and meeting all, all the other artists and, and, and people there. A lot of the people we met were Italian. English wasn't their first la like wasn't their first language, and that was a real uh, sort of what's the word? I really enjoyed the fact that we had to sort of communicate and try and yeah, pick up little bits of Italian, getting around there. like yeah. Well, we needed to, we knew we needed to be at a certain place at a certain time, mm, yeah. but we couldn't speak Italian, <laughs> so we're yeah. like, well, we need to get here. What bus do we get on? What train do we yeah. get? It's a very and old stuff. school way of. Yeah, it felt a bit rough and, and, rough and ready, yeah. lugging the tent around and stuff as well. And, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say, yeah, that was a big, a big one. That's a big up there, achievement. for sure. If we're talking in terms of, like, the next big thing for us, I would love to do, like, a, a little tour of, like, the UK, perhaps, and just play some slightly bigger venues. And it wouldn't even... I mean, some of the venues I want to play are quite intimate anyway. Um, I mean, some of the O2... Uh, play sort of stages would be yeah, awesome be cool. as well but there are some lovely lovely music venues that actually aren't even that big but we, we'd love to do it the smaller ones are sometimes better as well yeah, you get yeah. more you're closer to the crowd and yeah. you can see people a bit better and it's easier yeah. to fill a small room than a big room yeah if, if i was on this chair that would be just to kind of build our fan base a little bit more have a little bit more exposure and kind of i don't know develop even more on stage, um, hence why we were talking earlier about sort of getting a drummer, a bassist. We, we probably do need to expand a little bit, um, but effectively that wouldn't change the the fact that we're a duo. Uh, they would just yeah. be our sort of supporting musicians and, and could help us get to the next stages, I guess. I think, yeah, playing, doing a sort of UK tour as well would be a, is something that's it's quite attainable, I think, once we've got the album out as well. Yeah. And then we've got a product I guess um, mm. and we can go out tour and support support the album because at the moment we we don't really have much um, yeah. but yeah we're really excited for that to come out yeah But everything that you put me through 
through Makes me wanna quit Cause I'm fed up, yes I'm fed up with it But you're coming around Again Yes you're coming around Oh no, oh no But you're coming around